What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. So today, as you guys can tell by the title, I wanted to do a what's in my pantry slash pantry tour. The last time that I did one of these videos was sometime last year. I did a pantry declutter and organization video. I haven't shown my pantry since then. I've kept it clean and organized for the most part, but there are definitely some things that are out of place. This pantry tour is going to be realistic. I have not cleaned up my pantry. I have not gone through and thrown anything out. I wanted this to be just realistic, like what my pantry looks like on an everyday or weekly basis. So I am on a weight loss journey, but that does not mean that my pantry or my fridge is 100% clean with like clean foods. For the most part it is, but of course there's some things in there that you'll see. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into the pantry tour. This is our pantry right here. And if you open the pantry, this is what the pantry is looking like. Um, it's, it needs, it definitely needs to be reorganized. I will say that it was organized at some point, but it needs to be reorganized again. So um, I will start at the top and then I'll just go down each shelf and give you a tour of what is in my pantry. On the top shelf of the pantry, um, I'll just start in this corner right here. So, we have some napkins, and we have more napkins. I need to figure out where to put these. We usually buy the rolls of paper towels and we just keep them on the counter. Um, I think we bought these for like a get, a get together or something that we had, but I need to figure out where to put these napkins. Um, but for now, they're just like tucked away in the corner right there. Um, let me put these on the table. So on the top shelf, we put our cereal. So we're a big cereal family. I love cereal. The kids love cereal. My husband loves cereal. So we're a big cereal family. So this is where we usually keep all of our cereals. So some of the cereals that we have in here, we have Kashi Cinnamon Harvest cereal. Um, we have some Honey Bunches of Oats, which I like Honey Bunches, honey bunches of Oats. Two boxes of the of this Cascadian Farm Organic. These are like, they're called Purely O's, but pretty much organic Cheerios. Are, then we have a family size box of just regular Cheerios. Um, my kids like to eat these as like a snack, especially the little one, Jordan, the two year old. He likes to eat these just as a snack or with milk. Um, we have this Frosted Mini Wheats. This is Vanilla Latte. And it's pretty good. It tastes just like latte, honestly. Um, it's pretty good. Um, this is not cereal, but we have a box of Kodiak, Kodiak Cake Mix. So Flapjacks and Waffles Mix. I like it because I like to use this instead of regular pancake mix for me because it gives me more protein. Um, and that's up there. It usually isn't up here on the top shelf, but it is. <laughs> um, this right here, it has Cheerios and it. it has multi-green Cheerios. This is just a, re I just recycled this. So this had animal crackers in it, but when all the animal crackers were done, I recycled it and put in Cheerios in there. Um, we have some snacks. So we have Triscuits and Wheat Thins. Uh, I love both of these. And we have a box of Kicks. I don't know why, but I love Kicks cereal. I love Kicks cereal. And I used to eat this when I was pregnant with my first son. And ever since then, I just loved it. So we always, always get Kicks cereal. My All of my kids love it too. They like to eat it with milk or just plain. And then over here, we have a bunch of plant powered shakes and honestly i don't know why i still have them and this is what i mean where this is like realistic this this pantry probably has stuff that needs to be like thrown out and this is one of them these are expired and the only flavor that i liked was the dark um dark cocoa dark cocoa powder one and the other ones are nasty, so I need to get rid of those. And they're expired anyway, so I don't know why they're still in my pantry taking a face. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so those need to go out. So this is the top shelf. The second shelf right here. On this next shelf. So, right here we have a lot of pasta. So, we're a family who loves pasta. 
but honestly I have not eaten pasta in a long time um, it's just not something that I eat all the time and I before my weight loss journey I love pasta we were I was eating pasta maybe once or twice a week but now I honestly have it maybe once a month that's just a preference I don't eat a lot of pasta but I don't have a problem with pasta. I just would rather eat something else, honestly. I need to show you like a little a little collection of pasta because my husband loves husband loves pasta and he loves different um, different types of like organic pasta. So we have just some regular mini penne pasta right here. We have some rotini pasta that's open. Small shell pasta. These are from. Target, just the Market Pantry brand. It's spaghetti pasta, but it's veggie. It's one full serving of vegetable pasta. So just some veggie pasta. We have this pasta from Trader Joe's. This is winter snowflake pasta. So it's in the shape of snowflakes. Also from Trader Joe's is this pasta. Italian mini ravioli, authentic Italian pasta, mini ravioli with cheese filling. And I really wanted to try this pasta. I still will try it, um, I don't know when, but I definitely wanna try this pasta. It sounds really, really good. So right here, we just have some Skippy Natural Super Chunk Extra, Extra Crunchy Peanut Butter. This one is still full because I have, I don't eat it often. I prefer the Laura Scudder's peanut butter because it's honestly like just nothing in it but peanuts. I have some PB2 right here. This is where we keep our rice. We got these from, where do we get these from? Um, we got these from Ikea. And so this is where we keep our rice. And then also, some oatmeal so some whole oats I keep in the in here as well and just keep it in the pantry I have some Japanese style panko I have one of these little containers that I got from the dollar store and I just keep once again these recycled um, pasta sauce um, jars I just keep my quinoa in here and then I have some more oatmeal right here I just have some grits random grits <laughs> we have some coffee right here some Trader Joe's mixed berry scone mix, some um, Christie's honey cornbread. We just have some random packets of beef jerky. We got these two wooden crates from Ikea. And in this wooden crate, I keep cacao powder. I have some roasted hazelnuts there. I have, that's both of those are roasted hazelnuts. This is some coconut flour. This is some cherry flavor that you can add to drinks. I don't know, this was given to us and the it's still like it's still in the like <laughs> protective plastic wrap, so that has not been used. This jar right here, I just keep some flax seed. These are just whole flax seeds. This is not organized. But we just have some bread here. My husband brought home some uh, like these bread rolls. Um, these are some hot dog buns. We had family over for M Memorial Day and then um, this past weekend we had friends over so we just have like leftover hot dog buns from that. We usually don't buy um, hot dog, hot dogs or hot dog buns so those are just left over. In here this is usually where we keep like our oatmeal. So the oatmeal that we buy, we buy this Better Oats Still Could Oatmeal. Oh, some gluten-free all-purpose flour, my almond flour. Have some corn masa mix here for tortillas, enchiladas, tamales. Have some olive oil there, a big thing of olive oil, some coconut oil. And then back there we have some coffee, some hot chocolate mix and ranch. We have this big thing of pink Himalayan salt. We got this from Costco, it's just the Kirkland brand. Um, we have this really big thing of pancake mix. So my boys love pancakes, love, love, love pancakes and waffles. So we bought this big thing from Costco. Watch your fingers. We have some log cabin syrup. This is our favorite syrup. This has no high fructose corn syrup. This is our favorite. And we usually we usually buy the two. So at Costco, there's the two pack. So we usually buy the two pack. I have some blue, I have some organic blue agave back there. 
some croissants, which I don't eat all the time. That's why they're still in here. Just some croissants there. And this has all our applesauce. We have so much applesauce. Here we have more bread rolls that my husband brought. He brought these home. This part of the shelf is where we usually keep our um, like pasta sauce and everything. This is a bag full of like multi-grain crackers. A lot of cans right here that need to be organized. Over here we have some tuna, some tuna, some more tuna, and some like instant mac. So this crate right here, we usually keep all the boys snacks, but as you can see, it is empty. And so that we actually have to go grocery shopping to get them some more snacks and stuff. But um, we keep this big crate on the floor because they can open the pantry and come and get their own snack. Um, right here, this is my little cake pop maker. So the boys, like I told you, I said before, they love pancakes. And sometimes they want me to make pancake balls with my cake pop machine. So that's what I do um, every now and then if they ask me to. So that wraps up this what's in my pantry slash pantry tour video. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. And honestly, this was a very, very realistic pantry tour. I did not clean this out before, like I said, so. But a pantry declutter and organization video definitely is due. Um, it has been a while since I did one, so if you guys are interested in that, in the pantry organization declutter video, stay tuned to my channel. Make sure you turn on the post notifications so that you're notified of the video if that's what you're interested in. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up. Don't forget to click the subscribe button down below. And with all that being said, thank you guys again for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.